hey there, now that startled you, didn't it? As a lot of you know, I spend lots of time outside making videos. That's great for the scenery, but not so good for the intelligibility of my voice. Because there's a lot of things outside my control, like wind, water, dogs, etc. Ideally, because I'm out and moving around a lot, a wireless microphone would seem to be the solution. However, it does come at a cost. With wireless microphones, you get what you pay for. The very cheap wireless microphones on eBay, and I've tried them, are hissy, noisy, and may be interfered with by other radio frequency signals. The most cost-effective solution is to get a lapel microphone and put it on a lead running to a camera. Just to prove the difference it makes, I'll now do a test. Speaking now on the lapel microphone. Now I'm about 50 or 60 centimetres from the lapel microphone and I'll now walk over to the camera and disconnect it. Sitting in the same spot but now we're lying on the camera microphone. It's about 4 or 5 metres away. Even though it's almost perfect conditions, there's no wind, hardly any water noise and no dogs, the audio is noticeably less full. This test definitely shows the worth of a microphone element like this. One thing about lapel microphones is they are often electric microphones, requiring a small voltage to power them. Depending on your camera, if your camera has a phantom power supply, then that's fine, you can just have the voltage coming up the cable. But if it doesn't, you need to supply a small voltage to the microphone for it to work. That's where I made up this little box. This is the power unit inside. I was very lucky with the size of the box since it can accommodate a AA battery and holder. The only other two components inside are a 3.9K resistor that provides the small amount of power to the microphone and then a coupling capacitor of around one microfarad. If you wanted a bit more bass from the microphone, you might want to try a larger value of say 4.7 or 10 microfarad. Conversely, if you wanted a bit more treble, you would reduce the value of this capacitor down to say 0.1 to 0.47 microfarad would make your audio higher and thinner if that's what you want. I was initially concerned that 1.5 volts wouldn't be sufficient to power the electric microphone but as you can hear, that concern was unfounded. And that's a good thing about the most cost-effective power source you can get, is the humble AA battery. You get a lot more milliamp hours per dollar than other battery types like the AAA, 9 volt, etc. Although there's a lot of cases where cheap things on eBay are surprisingly good, wireless microphones aren't one of them. In this game, you get what you pay for. But just for a few hobby videos, then something like what I'm using, like this lead, power box and cheap electric microphone is probably going to give you the best audio you're going to get and certainly a lot better than people using cheap wireless microphones.